Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to authorize user via RFID tag in Siemens HMI. Now we know that in the last course, we have seen that we can make a login account in the HMI and user can enter their ID and password and he can log in into the HMI. Okay, now let's take this step to the next level. Now we have some RFID tags here, all right? Using these tags, we want to log in. So now user don't have to enter it manually. He just scan his tag and, and he can log in immediately like that with some tag management feature, which I will show you what it means. All right. So this is what we are going to learn in this video. We will do some programming in the PLC and some scripts in the HMI, and then we will link it together. Okay. So this is a very good project if you want to implement in your application. Okay, let's proceed. So in this, in this exercise or in this task, what are the things you required in the hardware? I'm using Siemens PLC S7-1200. I'm using IOLink Master AL-1100 from IFM. And I'm using RFID read write head module. <clears throat> if you have seen my RFID lessons in this course, you have you have seen the programming between these two, all right? And now we are just using RFID tags. And in the hardware, I'm not using the HMI screen. I'm using a simulation because it's more easy to capture a simulation. But if it works in the software, it works in the hardware as well. Okay. And the software I'm just using Siemens Tia Portal v15 with WinCC Advanced v15 version 15. So this is the hardware and the software required. And let's see what are the tasks. The task one is how to log into HMI via RFID tag. So it means I will just take my tag next to the RFID head module and it will log into the HMI. So let's see an example. All right, in this example, you see here on the top, we have user logged in as guest. And here we have user login by RFID, kindly scan your ID to log in, some buttons to log in and log out, a user ID password table, and we have tag management parameters, actual output, and some setting time for delay. Now, currently you can see that none of the user is logged in. Defa uh, guest is a default user. Now on, the, on my table, you will see three tags, service, supervisor, and operator, okay? Now these are the three users I have in my application. Now each user has certain uh, authorization. For example, operator tag can only actuate my output. Service tag can also actuate the output, but also it can access the parameters, which operator cannot do that. But service cannot access the tag management. So if I want to access tag management, that only supervisor can do. Basically supervisor can do anything. This is the top priority. So if I rearrange, supervisor is at the top, then you have service and then you have operator. Okay, these are the levels of user authorization. So let's start with the first level, which is operator. So we bring this tag back and I will bring this operator tag near to the RFID and you will see that it says authorize access, click to login. When I click login, I have this operator tag successfully uh, registered as an operator. So my operator has logged in now, okay? Now what operator can do is it cannot access tag management because that's, that's for the supervisor. It cannot cannot access parameters as well. That's for the service guy, but it can actuate the output. So the output has a delay of 500 milliseconds. So if I click on the button after 0.5 seconds, the output is on. So that's the only liberty the operator has to actuate the outputs. You can define this liberty in the program, what you want to do with the operator. That's totally up to you. You can program that. So let's go, uh, let's go to log out. And let's say I want to change this time from 500 milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds or one seconds. Then the service guy will come. So he will come, he will log in, and he will click the login button, and then he will go out. Now the service guy will say, hey, I will change the parameters, no worries. So we'll click on the parameters, click 1000, select 1000, and now you have 1000 millisecond as a delay time. So he will say, I'm logging out, and hey, operator, you can go and check it. So operator will go there, log into this data, log into the account, and then he will actuate, and now the time is one second. And now he will say again, hey, I want to change to 1500 milliseconds. Then again, the service guy will come, it will log in. The service guy will log in, and here you can see that the service guy is logged in. This is on the top of the screen. It will again go back and change the parameters to 1500 milliseconds, close. And the good thing is service guy can also check the output to make sure if this is written correctly. So I can check this as well. So now the delay is 1.5 second. So how, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Service guy has the ability to change the parameters, check the output, but the operator guy can only check the output. He cannot change the parameters, okay? Now, now the thing is we have a tag management 
Now the tag management means if I have another tag like this one and I want to authorize this tag as a new operator. In that case, these two guys cannot do that. In that case, you need a supervisor. So let's log in as a supervisor. I will log out and supervisor log in. And now I will take the tag away. Now supervisor is logged in and I can access the tag management. In the tag management, I have an option to assign the tag. So let's say I want to make this tag supervisor or service or operator, let's say operator. So I will click assign operator and bring this tag. And when this orange light will go off, it means it's successfully written. Now here, you can see that this light is gone. Tag is present and I will take it back. And I will take it back again. And you can see that it says it's operator, okay? To cross check again, I will go back. I will log, log out. Now I have to check this new tag. I will bring it next to the read write head, click login, and now it's operator. And now as an operator, he, he can actuate the output. Now if I say I want to revoke the capability as an operator, I want to disable this tag. That's also possible. In that case, first I will log in as a supervisor, go to the tag management, disable the tag, bring the tag to the RFID head, and take it back. And now the tag is disabled. You see, there is no nothing here. Please scan valid tag. So this is disabled, and if I go back, log out, and now if I bring it near, and it says unauthorized access because this tag is disabled. I, I cannot log in, can't do anything, okay? So this is what we are going to learn in this section, and I hope it's interesting, and we will program it in a sequential way so that you can do that. And it has a lot to do with scripts. So see you in the next video when we start programming this. Bye.